So welcome to A-Level Music. This is the third stage at Music at Crompton House. We are a large, welcoming department with a busy schedule of performances and our sixth form students are at the centre of everything that we do. Uh, we'll be studying the EDUCAS A-Level Music specification and this course has three clear sections. We do performance, composing and arranging, exactly like you've done at GCSE if that's the course that you've followed. In year 13, you'll be given a choice whether you take performance or composition as your major option. Um, your major option will be worth 35% um, and then your second option is worth 25% and you can choose between performance and composing. Um, we make that decision in year 13 just because people change their minds. Um, the performance is assessed by a recital and the composition by a portfolio. The appraising part of the course is worth 40% of the course and covers three areas of study. We start with the Western classical music and for that we have two set works. Haydn Symphony 104 and Mendelssohn Symphony No. 4, The Italian. They're both amazing pieces. We spend a lot of time looking at uh, the Haydn in year 12 and then slightly less time looking at the Mendelssohn in year 13. The second area of study that we have is musical theatre and we study the works of five composers and that includes some really well-known shows like Wicked, um, Jesus Christ Superstar um, and lots of other things. Um, our third area of study is called Into the 20th Century. It's a study of art music in the first half of the 20th century and again there are two set works. One you've never heard of? Poulenc's trio for piano, oboe and bassoon, an incredibly well-known piece, and one of Debussy's three nocturnes. So lots of French music there, which will be exciting. So next year, there will be three teachers in the music department. We haven't seen three teachers in the music department for quite a while, so this is very exciting. Um, the majority of lessons will be taught by me um, and by the new member of staff, Mrs Doyle, um, but some of your lessons might also be taught by Mrs Bostock. So at the beginning of the course, the first thing we need to do is to find out about you and where you are in your musical life. Um, so there'll be a number of short tasks, composing tasks, performance tasks, theory tasks, listening tasks, lots of things to find out where you're up to, where your strengths are and where you will need some support. Um, after that, we'll move quickly um, into area of study A, which is the Western classical tradition, and we'll start looking at Haydn 104, and we'll learn lots of different vocabulary and lots of different things that you'll also be able to use in your composing as well. From this point onwards, you will work through the three areas of study. You'll cover just over half the material in year 12, and then the remainder in year 13, and we study two of the set works, one from each area of study in each year. There's a mixture of practical tasks and theoretical tasks. We explore music in different ways and we try to make sure that you have a chance to, to do a practice version of each of your coursework tasks um, in year 12 or early in year 13 before the real ones need to be done. All the way through the course you will be assessed on all three areas. There'll be regular performance assessments where you'll be asked to uh, perform the pieces that you're planning to put in your end of course recital. Um, there'll be to begin with very short composing assessments and then as you get further into the course longer ones when you're given feedback and we look at the mark scheme and how you can improve your work. For the appraising part that's where things are slightly different to what you'll have experienced at Key Stage 4. Um, assessments here can involve listening, essay writing, research, um, musical dictation and any number of other things. There's a huge variety of different things that we do. Some lessons will look entirely at practical skills and those might be more of a tutorial style where there's one person um, working and everyone else is in a practice room and then we move through. Um, we might be looking at composing where everyone's working and it's kind of just given support um, from the member of staff and some lessons will be a more tutorial style with very small classes um, so that means that everyone has a chance to ask questions all the way through. So when we're studying the set works for example um, we would sit in a small group, we'd go through some of the information and then explore some questions together before you start on some independent work. As a musician you are expected to be practicing your instrument all the time, not literally all the time, but continuously through every week. So we don't set that as homework because we assume that you are mature enough to do that. Um, so homework is set for the composing and appraising parts of the course, and those reflect what you're doing in lessons. Um, we use um, Logic Pro and Sibelius for um, composing in school. You're welcome to use those or um, software that you have access to at home. Um, and you have access to the A-level workroom most of the time through the week. So if you want to come in and do your homework um, in the school, that's absolutely fine. 
In music, there are ways to work independently in all three areas. In performance, obviously, you'll be doing your practice independently, possibly with guidance from your instrumental teacher, but you can look at other pieces as well. Start developing a repertoire, a range of things um, that you can play. Make sure you discuss your repertoire with your teachers in school and with your instrumental teachers. Make sure that the pieces that you're preparing for your performance, you've watched other people perform them, that you've got an idea of what is going to make a good performance. In composition, listen to things that will inspire you. But most important, don't just write things for lessons. Write more stuff, create more music, because the more you do, the more your skills will develop. And in listening, you can never listen to all the music there is. So keep listening, listen to music that's relevant to the course, listen to music that's outside the course, um, and always listen with intent. Ask yourself questions as you listen. What is the composer doing here? What is happening with the melody here? What has somebody done with this piece that somebody else did differently? So the music department is one of the busiest departments in the school. We have a large number of ensembles and choirs who all perform regularly both in school and at a range of events in the community, um, including our chapel choir who rehearse after school on a Friday, um, who sing Evensong every year at Manchester Cathedral and sometimes travel further afield. Uh, there are occasional trips to see concerts and other musical events. Um, and in summer 2018, the chapel choir and the brass ensemble went on tour to Rome um, and we are in the early stages of planning a trip probably for two years time. So we like um, leadership opportunities for our sixth form students. Um, we have a music prefect system who help to supervise the department at lunchtime, um, setting a good example to the younger students and giving them the opportunity um, to take part in more music making. Um, we invite students to mentor our year seven classes um, so they can use that as part of their volunteering for Duke of Edinburgh, but also it's a great chance to develop skills on instruments you may not be familiar with, like guitar and drums. Um, sixth form students are encouraged to create and lead their own small ensembles. Um, in the past, we've had wind quintets, small brass groups, chamber choirs that have been led by our sixth form students, and they join in with the performance opportunities for the school. Uh, we also link with the drama department um, twice a year to put on shows, one for lower school and one from upper school. And the sit form students are encouraged to get, in, get involved on stage, in the band or with technical support. Um, there is some pre-A-level material available to you, um, but the simple um, message from us is to prepare for your music A-level. Number one, keep playing music, develop your personal skills, learn new music, practice old music and continue to develop. Number two, keep creating music. Try out new ideas, find out about new software, do things you've never done before, move outside of your comfort zones. And number three, keep listening to music. Listen intentionally and ask yourself questions. So a lot of people think that music is only a course for musicians. Now, whilst you need to be a musician, you don't have to plan to be a musician for the rest of your life in terms of your career. So there are obviously musical skills you'll develop in performance, in composing and in listening. But in addition to this, you'll um, develop a range of supporting skills, including independent and team working, resilience, creativity, problem solving, planning and time management, all really valuable skills that can help you through the rest of your life. So we look forward to welcoming all of you in September, welcome you into our class, but also into our ensembles, our extracurricular activities, and just in getting involved with everything around the school. See you then.